Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video. In this video, um, I'm going to be talking about a jig that I made for my drill press. And <clears throat> this is the second version that I made. <clears throat> the first version snapped exactly the same way because I had the grain going this way, not this way. And then this one broke, as you can see, because right here, I cut this out. So there was no, no strength supported right here like this. So this is the version I ended up with, the third version, third time's a charm, as the old cliche goes. Um, this, because it's a solid piece here, is lends to all the strength here for the clamping motion. Now this goes uh, on my drill press, in case you're wondering, this is two and one eighth, or excuse me, two and one sixteenth inch in diameter. And uh, this clamps by tightening that up. And this is just a carriage bolt, and I have that seated in with a little Gorilla Glue, nothing uh, fancy. And then this right here is sort of a height adjustment. And again, that's uh, seated in, but this one, I have an actual bolt underneath. There's a couple ways I could have gone to do this, but this was the, the simplest way. And I'll explain how this works when we get to the drill press. Okay, here we are at the drill press. And as you can see, I've got a chunk of aluminum right here and it's bolted in or screwed in right here. So now that we've zoomed in, you can see this has, this is threaded right here. Then there's a hole here on top. There's the hole on top and closer up closer up you can see what that looks like so this gets threaded on here this is my stop now if I take this I'm going to zoom out real quick this comes in under the bottom and the hole which is here I'm going to thread that inside it's not threaded, so it just slides right in. So I'm just going to tighten this up. Okay, so that's free now. That'll move up and down. If I tighten this up, there, now that is secure. If I loosen it up, then it, now it moves. So the reason I made this was for the milling on the bottom. So now I've got a milling bit inside here. And let's see if I can raise this, raise this up a little bit more. So without this here, when I was milling a piece of, of soft metal like aluminum, piece of metal that I was milling on the drill press, this is aluminum one inch by one inch two inches long, this center channel, it was supposed to be uh, four millimeters wide, or excuse me, supposed to be six millimeters wide, but by the time I ended up getting to the actual depth, I was over seven millimeters because every time I would loosen the handle on the back and raise uh, the base plate up, 
this would twist just a little bit. So if I keep the base plate locked in place, now all I have to do is lower the, lower the top and I can do that incrementally just by twisting this right here and then locking it in place. Now the, the base plate where the X and Y axis is located, this will, this will stay in one position and then I can just raise and lower the blade, the cutting blade into the piece and take my incremental cuts that way instead of trying to raise the table up, raising the workpiece up into the cutter, which is stationary and not moving. And then that will keep my, my cut aligned perfectly now before I was getting a little bit of slop in it and that was messing me up. And the same thing was happening here. You can see this side here is a little bit wider than this side here. And I'm off about a sixteenth of an inch just from the multiple passes uh, raising the table up. Everything was always moving over that way. So a long way of going around to make this. Now, some of your more higher end drill presses have these already installed, already made with them. This is an old uh, Delta uh, drill press that was recently given to me by a friend. So rather than spend any money on a brand new one, now I have two drill presses, one for milling, and then I have another one here for drilling. So this is just a simple little jig. It took a couple days to make. I had already had the, uh, the aluminum stock on hand that I've been using for other stuff. So it really didn't cost me anything at all. I had the scrap uh, maple already. So anyway, um, I think you get the idea of how all that works. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And uh, have a good day. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.